let's get in the kitchen today and make some yummy salmon bites. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, as always, thank you so much. Let's jump right into today's recipe. For this recipe, you'll need salmon filet. You're just gonna wanna make sure that the skin is removed. Once that's taken care of, we just have our salmon. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut them into pieces. Just for reference, this is the size that I cut them into. As you're going along, if you run into any tiny bones like these, you're just going to go ahead and remove them because these are salmon bites and we do not want to be biting into bones. So remove any fine bones that you come across. Once the salmon is cut into bite sizes and all the bones are removed, it's time to go ahead and wash the salmon. I know that a lot of people skip this step, but this is what I like to do. What I usually do is just take half a lemon and just squeeze it over the salmon, rinse with some water, and then go ahead and pour the water off. Next, I like to just take some paper towels and just remove excess water from the bowl. I wanna get the salmon as dry as possible. To season the salmon, I'm using all-purpose seasoning garlic salt with parsley, cayenne pepper, paprika, Old Bay seasoning, and some black pepper. Now we're gonna go ahead and combine all the spices and all the flavors together. So once the salmon is seasoned, this is how it's looking. All the flavors, all the spices is combined together and it is smelling so good. To pan sear the salmon, we're gonna be using minced garlic and butter. You could go ahead and use fresh garlic if you'd like for this. Just make sure that the garlic is nicely minced. In a nice hot skillet or frying pan, you're gonna melt three tablespoons of butter. Once the butter has fully melted, we're gonna go ahead and add in our minced garlic. I'm just adding two tablespoons of minced garlic. So we're gonna saute the garlic for about two minutes. It should start looking something like this before you're able to add the salmon in. You're gonna stir the salmon on each side for about three to five minutes until they start getting blackened. Once they're blackened a bit, you're gonna turn them to the other side. Here is the finished meal, my salmon bites served with cilantro lime rice and some green beans. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, comment down below, leave some love in the comments down below, and I will see you in my next video.